G'day mates, Bob Dingo here. Coming to you from the Las Vegas Strip, of course, where else would we be? Where else would it be? Where else would it be? It could be, it could be Fremont Street, but not today. Not today. Today we're going back to one of uh, Robert Von Dingo's, Robert Von Robert Dingo Hopper. Hopper's favorite restaurants. Right here we got Mon Amiga B. Where they have the fruit de mer. Well, they have the fruits de mer. The fruits of the sea. And they have poisons. Poisons available all day long. You want a grilled poison? You want a, uh, you want poison uh, on the pad? There's the poison. You see the poison right there? <laughs> so even though this is one of Robert Von Dingohofer's favorite restaurants, this is actually also a hidden gem because I made a discovery on the menu for this particular restaurant. There is in fact something which is a super good deal. Now, I don't think anyone's talked about it before. Okay, most things are a little pricey. You've got some plates that are up there in the $50 range. But Mona Me happens to have Sammy's for 15 bucks. And they come with pommes frites. Pommes frites? Oh, pommes frites are what French call, the French call French fries. Pommes frites. So yeah, they got three Super Boss Sammy's, the huge, 15 bucks with the fries. I mean, it's not quite as cheap as snacks with the BOGO, but that's bloody close, mate. And this restaurant is so nice. Let's check it out, mates. Hello. Reservation, yeah, for two, under Bob. This restaurant's so fancy, you have to have your resis in, mates. Don't even think about just walking in. Okay, uh, so you ready for the hidden gem? You ready for a dingo deal? All right, here's the dingo deal. Right between Lay's Salads and uh, Ors Dover's, you're gonna find Lay Samwege. Okay, look at that. Avocado and green bean toast, warm chicken and brie, croque masseur. And croque masseur, I think, is a French name for a Monte Cristo. I think they're the same thing for 15 bucks, right on the Bellate Strip. And you want to talk about right on the Strip, look at it, right out there. The sun might peek between the two buildings of Cosmo in a minute, we'll have a little bit of light on us. All right, here's another pro, pro dingo tip. Go for the baguette, it's only $2. The bread is good here. And it'll fill you up and it comes with some nice carrots. Okay, now we have round one. And this is not part of the no, hidden gem. It's not. Although it's still not terribly- It's still a gem. Considering it's snails. It is a bit of a hidden gem because it's only $17 for this. And if to get us for go even anywhere else on the strip, where would you go? Well, it's a super specialized food. Yes, it the is. The escargot. So really, I think it's worth it and they're very good here. Okay, yeah, we, we've actually had these before, okay. So we're not gonna- Spoiler be alert, okay. Really good. And then all that garlic and oh the garlic. Oh my god. <laughs> this is so good. Yeah, this is this is a super good meal. Yeah. Yeah, super tasty. Appetizer that is. Mm -hmm. Oh let me have let me chest in. Right. Okay, I gotta get gotta, gotta get me dainty fork out there for the little girls. There you go. Oh my god. Okay, let's get the snail. Now this looks like pesto, but this in fact is not but pesto. But it's not, no, no, no. no, no. Mmm. Super excellent. Yeah, and then dip the um. One of the best appetizers on the strip, I'd say, honestly. Yeah. So just garlic, explosion, butter, olive oil, I think, in there. Um, <laughs> and then I think also, um, uh, is that parsley is the green? 
It must be. What else would turn it green? Yes, yeah. Spinach? Well, you want to make too is if you do garlic, when you do a lot of garlic, you do parsley, then your breath doesn't smell. <laughs> Did you know that? Ah, uh, Mama, Mother, we are French. We do not care if our breath smells. Our well, pit smell. Well, hey, garlic? it is French, huh? Mmm. Boy, hell, my. It's a winner. Yeah. Super winner. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, now we're going to tuck in onto the sandwich. Alright mate, the Sammies have arrived. Oh my goodness. And so, you know when I was saying for fifteen dollars, I think this is pretty good. Yeah. Check out these bloody salmons. Yeah. Look at this. That is quite a Sammy. Now, is it a Monte Cristo? Uh, it's a Monte Cristo, but in French it's called un croque monsieur. Oh, un croque monsieur. Oh no, but with the egg, it is le croque madame. Oh, with the egg. Because le madame have the, uh, the egg. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I am just that make things what, up. That is what it is. We are French, you know. That is what it is. Everything is le madame, le monsieur. And then on my end, this is the chicken and brie sammy, which is super boss. I've had this before, so let's take a bite. Oh my God. The bread is just the best. Oh, and look at the sauce in there. The bread is soft, but crunchy on the edge. Oh, bloody hell, the stuff's good. Ah. Mm. <laughs> good, good, good job, Bob. Uh, well, Don't want to look too gross on the wall. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So there's apple in there. There's sauce. There's caramelized onions. It's yum. Oh my god. Oh, well, you want to give it a go? Well, Dingo loves uh, uh, loves brie and and chicken breast. Brie's my fave. Yeah. <laughs> That's too rich for me. <laughs> it's rich. That is a rich salmon. That's a very rich salmon. <laughs> I'll tell you, but it's good. That's... I the, the apple just gives you that bit of lift. Yeah, the apple, you can taste it. It crunches yeah, for yeah, starters. Yeah. This right. has got the, the ham and the, the egg. Oh, mother, look at this. See if I can do it in a delicate way. OK, make sure you get all that ham in there, Mom. I got the ham. Ham it up. Ham and cheese, yeah. <laughs> okay. well, oh, oh, well, when you say ham and cheese for 15, that doesn't sound like a hidden gem, Mom. Yeah, but I like my little gherkins. <laughs> the little gherkins are good. <laughs> and the palm frites, which are good. They fry these up. They're real crispy here. I don't like runny eggs, but for you, YouTube, I'll oh, no. do it. Oh, he doesn't. He won't eat any eggs. I can no, him. I'll just throw them away at home. I won't do it. He didn't throw them back in the pan. Yeah, tastes like ham and cheese. Yeah. Yeah, that's actually more of a breakfast salmon. I think the chicken one is more of a lunch salmon. Yeah, for $15, it's a good deal. It's not bad. And look where we are. Yeah. It's Bellagio. Yeah. You can see the fountain if it was running. I don't know why it's not on. And it's really nice here. Yeah. The vibe here is nice. The lighting is nice. Yeah, and, and we've been here like uh, three times. The waiters have always been nice which is, that can be rare in Las Vegas, gotta tell you. And another dingo tip, you know, here's something for you. Order the bread for two dollars, okay? Just fill up on that, take your Sammy back to the room. Bloody hell, mate! Now that's a dingo deal. Mom, Mom does not approve. I think you should order the bread, it's because it's really good quality bread here. All their bread is very good. It's very French. And it fills you up. So then you take your Sammy to get. Uh -huh. Or you fill up on snails, too. Uh -huh. mm, delicious, tasty snails. We're gonna tuck in and then we'll come back to you, let you know if we get sick in a minute here. But for now, we're gonna tuck in. You never know, Mom. It can happen. We, we, we're honest. We don't lie like the other vloggers. We're not gonna get sick. We give it to you straight, dingo star. Okay, let's tuck in. <laughs> 
All right, mate. So we finished our Sammies. Well, we didn't finish them. We got a big to go. Look at that. So you come here for the Sammy for lunch. You get that baguette. You get some snails. You're going to be taking half of that. No. Oh, that's lunch and dinner, mate. You're welcome. It's coming hell in my belly. So conclusions on the Monami lunch. Well, I really like Monami. It's one of my favorite places to go on this trip. It's a fantastic. Yeah. It's a good spot. Yeah. Uh, good atmosphere. Um, and the food is boss. I gotta yeah. say, mine won't admit it on camera, but she doesn't like Monte Cristo sandwiches. Okay. It's yeah. not that it was bad. It's She's, bad. She doesn't like hollandaise. It's just not my bag. Okay. Yeah. yeah. But as far as Monte Cristo's or croque masseurs go, that one was pretty good. It was very good. It was very good. I, I, I but of course, I came here for the snail. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, if you can get some slimy, slimy shell creatures that in from your garden there, you know, why not? To me, that's the hidden gem of one of me. Is the essay you can get snails for seventeen dollars? Yeah. The, uh, well, you you would never get snails except for in a French restaurant. Absolutely. I mean, who else would have snails? Exactly. Yeah. So I, I don't haven't looked at the menu of the of the Eiffel Tower restaurant in a long time, but it, probably there. Yeah. Uh, probably Guy Savoy has them on the menu. Guy Savoy, yeah. yeah. That would be for eighty dollars over a geese. Right, well, exactly. Yeah. For one snail. <laughs> <laughs> so mum likes the snails. The snails are boss. It's seventeen dollars. I mean, a fabulous, well prepared. You know what's funny about snails is like here they cover it in butter and garlic and parsley. And then I remember the last time I had snails was in Paris yes. on a boat. Yes. On the Seine. Yes. And that time they put the snails in like a pastry with a heavy brown sauce. And it occurs to me what they do with snails is they cover them up so you don't know what you're eating. I think that's well, the you purpose. Forget what you're you forget eating. what you're eating, yeah. <laughs> and that's why they taste so bloody good. But as I said, the French, I mean, you can get them a piece of shoe leather and they return it into something fabulous. Well, if they liked it. <laughs> ah, we invented rudeness in 1742. But we must not forget the French were the ones that uh, finance our American revolution. That is true. We are so rude because we paid for your independence, America. You better kiss our ass. Okay, the sun's setting on the strip. Bloody good stuff. Yeah. Bloody mates.